Fort Bella line at the Naples Pier that almost 14 months ago was destroyed by Hurricane Ian. Today I spoke with Chad Merritt with the city of Naples and he says we are about a week away from the 100% plans of the new pier being finalized. Since Hurricane Ian, much of Southwest Florida remains rebuilding, especially many of the area's most iconic symbols. We've got residents right now that are uh, still trying to pick up their lives and, and get it all back together and uh, they lost a lot of stuff. That pier, it, to me, is going to represent that um, that we're stronger than, than any kind of natural disaster that hits us like that. Chad Merritt, Facilities Director for the City of Naples Parks and Recreation Department, says now they're moving forward with plans to rebuild the pier with an estimated $20 million cost. What we feel was designed is, is stronger. Uh, we feel that it's going to be uh, user friendly and uh, we just we feel like it's going to represent Naples and that's what, what we put together. Merritt says the pier will be built three feet taller than the original, but with ADA accommodations still as the top priority so everyone can enjoy the pier including moving the concessions that were originally planned for the Gulf end of the pier, now being moved to the shore for federal guideline reasons and more ADA ramps for wheelchair users. Um, we have added some bump outs that uh, allow them to, someone who may be in a wheelchair to pull up and view without an obstruction because we've uh, had the railing has been lowered so that they can have a clear view. Along with focusing on the pier stability, Merritt says the new pier will be a place for people to go and savor the setting. I feel like it's a last phase for us to be able to say we defeated Hurricane Ian. We have recovered from Hurricane Ian. Merritt says that once a contractor is selected, it should take anywhere from 18 to 24 months if all goes as planned. In Naples, I'm Bella Line, Fox 4.